Man, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tato Exquisite, and you already know we back at here another banger, man. No cat, you feel me? Man, what's good with y'all? Hope y'all day going good. We just got re we just got done recording the first reaction, you feel me? Today, we got a reaction to mom calls police on her 13-year-old son with multiple warrants. Hey, that's wild for a 13-year-old to have multiple warrants. But, hey, it's the world we live in, you feel me? But, yeah, we finna see the reaction. We finna give the reaction to this, you feel me? We finna see what they talking about. We finna see what the cops do out of this situation. We finna see how he responds to the cops. How the way they control him and yeah let's get into it make sure y'all leave a like comment subscribe turn on the post notifications if you haven't already and yeah we going to the top I hate when I see this happen. Like, because I mean, as a kid, mindset, that's the first instinct to run. Because you don't want to go with the feds. Like, you already know how the system is with certain situations. And you are you already see all this stuff on the news. You don't know how it's going to go. You don't know what type of interaction it is. You don't know where this is going to lead you to. You don't know, like, and like, I just, I, just, I just hate the system, if you want me to be honest. I hate the system. Like, I don't have a... I, I don't hate much things, but the system I hate, I ain't gonna lie. Like, the system of how everything works with the arrest and taking people to jail, booking them in the system, all of this. Then your life, you can barely get jobs, this, that. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't like it at all. Especially seeing this happen to a 13-year-old kid. Like, no, nah, I don't like that, man. I don't like that. Stop fighting. Stop. Take a breath. You're fine. You're fine. Cuz got his knee jammed in his back. Hop off, nigga. I don't like cuz all like breaking his arm, cuz like you feel me? Like, cuz chill. Like, like cuz he in cuffs already. You still kneeling his back, nigga? Like, why is you still kneeling his back like that, cuz? Pick him up, do what y'all gotta do, hold him like he in cuffs. He in cuffs, you feel me? Like, that's a learning lesson for any cop that's watching this, you feel me? Like, cuz, chill. This is exactly why kids don't like cops. And I'm just saying it the real. This is exactly why. And as soon as a kid do some resisting arrest charge, obstruction of justice charge, like, y'all just tag charges on people. And y'all the only ones with that power from the government. And nobody can do nothing to change that. You feel me? Like, bro, that be blowing me. <laughs> bro. Yes, it is, bro. You feel me? Even they saying, why is the knee on him like that? You feel me? That's all I'm saying. Why is your knee deep in his back like that? No weird stuff. You feel me? Like... What's going on, bruh? I'm just trying to double up this thing. He's almost good. Now he took his knee off, okay. Now he took the knee off, you feel me? 
And people be claustrophobic, so some people have a harder time with this, you feel me? Some people have a harder time with this, because once you claustrophobic and you can't do nothing about the situation you're in, you start tweaking, you feel me? And that's what some people got to learn how to do, not tweak. Don't tweak, because it's going to make everything ten times worse. You can't go nowhere, you can't do nothing about the situation until you, until er everything happens that has to happen, you feel me? Like... So if you ever get arrested, no, do not tweet. Try to stay as calm as you can. It's hard, but try. Oh, uh, squilling like crazy. Hey, little brother, that's not going to do nothing for you, bruh. And, like, this should be a learning lesson for the kids, you feel me? If you ever get arrested, you feel me? Try to stay as calm as you can. Try to stay as calm as you can. Because it's going to tweak you out way more. Try to stay as calm as you can. That's the goal. Stay as calm as you can. You don't got to take this from me or you can't take this from me. I'm speaking to the gist in general, you feel me? The young niggas, you feel me? Because... I already seen the situation firsthand. You feel me? I was in the situation, but I always, I always been the claustrophobic type. But you feel me? Once this happened to me for the first time, I knew to chill because I knew that was gonna make it ten times worse, and it helped me out way more. You feel me? But yeah, just, just know how to chill, cause I ain't gonna lie. You don't want them extra charges picking up. Now you fighting a whole nother case for this separate charge. You feel me? You don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen. It's a whole bunch of unnecessary bull. You feel me? But yeah. <laughs> I bet he knew. Yeah, I bet he multiple warrants. I bet he knew. This is what he wanted to get. I can guarantee you I wasn't hurting him. Okay. Well, that means we, we have to control him. You can say what you want. We have to control him. Okay. We have to control him. I understand. Yeah. But it didn't look like he was on top of him. That's all I was saying. He was yeah. I was not. Yeah. Yeah. But it looked like so. I just started. I was not. So, yeah. And you'll see on your. Yeah. Like, how do you feel? Like, okay, you had to do what you had to do, but like. You see how uh, the lady in the white, no disrespect, you see how the lady in the white looking at him, like, how do you feel just seeing this happen to a 13-year-old boy? Like, you don't feel no type of way about this, you feel me? Like, especially once they in the pig's hand, you feel me? Once they in the pig's hand, once they in the cop's hands, it's like, it's out of your control. Like, he in there by himself. Well, with, with the Lord above, with Jesus Christ, you feel me? Jesus Christ always going to watch over him, but nobody else is in there to help him besides Jesus Christ. And you have to have your 100% trust in Jesus Christ when you're in there, you feel me? You have to. You have to. It's no other option, you feel me? That's your Lord and Savior. That He's going to protect you through anything. He's your shield, you feel me? So, I just don't... I, like, she's just staring at him, like, you feel me? Like, oh yeah, you going to jail now. Like, just staring at him, you feel me? I don't know. I feel some type of way about it. Is they pulling bro pants down? Like what's going on? I'm already knowing bro tweaking right now. That claustrophobic stuff, no joke. I'm already knowing bro. 
I'm already like it's it's no joke. Once you claustrophobic, it's no joke. Like, nah, that's wild. <laughs> The reason why I'm not stopping it as much now because I'm just seeing the same thing over and over and I'm going to just wait. I'm going to just let it play out. You feel me? I'm going to just let it play out until I see something to react to. So, yeah. Hey. Just stand up. Are you going to scream all day? And the seats in the police is just buckets, like plastic buckets. Imagine sitting on a plastic bucket. I know you sit it on a plastic bucket before. Sitting on a plastic bucket is uncomfortable as hell. You feel me? Like, it's so uncomfortable. Like, they can't at least give some seat cushions? Like, in the back? Like, dang. They really treat people like they not people. Like, you feel me? Like... He's, he's making all these decisions right now. Ladarius, stop doing that! Because you're making it worse for yourself! You make it I'm sorry, no disrespect, but you can't call the cops in there and say all of this. Like, you, you... Like, this is just honesty. You put him in this position to where he did, is doing this. That's, that's just honesty. Like, I get he has some issues. I get, okay, yeah, you called the cops on him, but you can't say that to him when... You put him in this position, and that's just pure honesty. You feel me? Worse than yourself, Joy. When you get there, you gonna end up in it. Calm down. Stop. 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 Stop doing that. You gonna end up getting hurt. See, that's the first thing she said. Are we charging him with re re resisting? That's exactly what I was just talking about. 
Boom, do one thing, charge with resistance. Boom, do two things, charge with obstruction. Like, just charging, just charging, just charging. That's all they worried about, how much charges they could rack up on a person. Because if this one don't stick, they're going to get this one to stick. The system is corrupted. You feel me? The system is corrupted. And I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that, Brody. Respect go to you. Respect go to you for saying that. I don't care about it. Respect goes to you. Respect. At the end of the day, bruh 13, you feel me? Bruh 13, like, bruh 13, you gotta expect that from a 13 year old. You feel me? Hold on. Lateris was charged with resisting arrest with simple assault. Are you kidding me? It was said that Lateris had the warrants from a burglary incident. Man. Nah. That's the end of the video. Man. I don't like to see nobody wrapped up by the feds, you feel me? I don't like to see that on nobody. I wouldn't wish that upon nobody, you feel me? Also, uh, we just gotta learn. We gotta learn from these type of mistakes. We just gotta learn. We gotta continue to grow and learn. And we gotta continue to get closer to Jesus Christ himself. We gotta continue to talk to him on a daily basis, you feel me? Just have conversations with him. Get close to your Lord. Like, I was watching this one video and it has said, say this for the men and this for the ladies. Say you a man and you like a female. And you on her Instagram just figuring out what she looked like this, that, doing your homework, you feel me? Or if you a shorty and you like this nigga so much, you feel me? You doing your homework on him. Why aren't we doing the homework on our Lord and Savior? Why aren't we getting to know our Lord and Savior and building a connection with him so strong? And also, um, we need to live we need to live in obedience. We need to already be obedient because once we get to heaven, you feel me? That's all it's gonna be, you feel me? We're gonna be obedient for, to the Lord. He gave us everything we have. He gave us the chance to even live in his life. You feel me? Like, we want to give him everything. He doesn't have to give us none of it. We want to give him everything once we get to heaven. You feel me? So, yeah, man. We just got to, uh, we got to just work on a lot of things in this life. We got to better ourselves. We got to learn. We got to progress. We got to reflect. We got to do a lot of things. You feel me? But, yeah, I don't wish that upon nobody. Uh, I, just, I just didn't like how the cop had his knee in his back. You feel me? I mean, yeah, he was tweaking. He 13. You feel me? He probably claustrophobic, so I get that. Uh, and then the other part that I didn't like is when the cop just, as soon as they got to the jail, started we charging them with resistance. I ain't like that part neither. Them really the only two parts that I didn't like because they had to get him in the car, so I understand that. So on that part, like, he kept kicking. He kept, you feel me, trying to hop out the car, so I get that part. But, yeah, man, that's it. Let me know what y'all thoughts is down in the comment section, you feel me? Grow and progress. Remember them two words. Also, get close to the Lord and Savior, you feel me? Get close. Repent as much as you can. Repent, repent, repent. No matter how much times you mess up, because Jesus Christ will forgive you for your sins. That's why he died on the cross. God sent his only son to die on the cross in one of the most brutal ways for our sins. You feel me? So repent, because he will always forgive us. Yeah, man. It's your boy, Tate to Exquisite. You already know what it is. We out, man.